Welcome back guys to episode 140 of the Factorio Let's Play, if I counted everything correctly. Um, today is going to be a pretty interesting day because now we uh, <clears throat> basically finished all of our 1000 sides minute production down here. Yeah, exactly. Sounds just as cool as it is. Other way around, but hey. Um, that means today we're going to rip out all of that. We're going to rip out all of that as well. We're going to rip out and then move all of that. Uh, yeah. That's going to be fun. Uh, yeah, we have to rip everything out. I'm going to cut specifically so I can... Um, yeah, I think it makes sense why I want to cut. Um, uh, but first up, I want to also turn off my pressure roll port. Thank you. Cut. Okay, now let's cut all of that crap down here. So red and green sets is obviously already at 1000 sets a minute level, so we don't really have to care about that too much. Oh boy. This just has to go wrong, right? Like, there's no way in hell this will work. Uh, and then let's also just take out all of this. Let's just hope I don't dork it up and my... Uh, clipboard will actually uh, be enough. I now have to try not copy too much things. Uh, we can also get rid of this belt here for now. Um, and all of those belts up here as well. Uh, yeah, let's cut those all back like this. Yeah, you get your connection here again for your services. Um, yeah, now we are going to end up with a ton of science packs in the logistic network again. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's not the most beautiful thing to look at anyways, uh, so yeah. Oh boy, yeah, I know, that was a big task to do, so yeah. But now it will get even more interesting once we cut that and move that up here, so uh, yeah. Before we do that though, I... <coughs> I really want to clean up the bus first. Um, yeah. Because uh, then if I just cut it in and paste it in again, then uh, yeah. Things that uh, shouldn't be moving will then start to move and get into everywhere, basically. I mean, my... Uh, uh, my sort of dream is now to get this all a little bit more clean, but I will completely 100% fail at this anyway, so uh, let's rather not mention that plan, I guess. Okay, um, this goes out as well. See you later, alligator. Yeah, this has to uh, stay that way anyways. Yeah, my inventory is going to be full of random shit after that. Yep. Already happened. Um. Oh boy. And then replace that. Yeah, now we just have to go like through the entire thing again, essentially. Um. Yeah, sure, maybe there are like some small things we could have used again, but yeah, it doesn't really matter that much in like a time uh, sense, you know. I mean, we are now done here fairly soon anyways, I would say, actually. I mean, the goal was to get to 1000 sites a minute, we now have all the build for that. We basically just need to paste it in and turn her on, so... um. Yeah, sure, we still have to do, like, all the infinite signs. That's also going to be a little bit fun. 
but other than that, that's also just a few episodes of fixing bugs, and then we should be pretty much done here with uh, the 1000 sides of goal. And then we will move on to a new series, basically, for now. Um, yeah, that's going to be pretty exciting, actually. Um, finally doing something else and just playing on that map. I mean, I, I really like that let's play here. I actually really like mega bases in general and building mega bases because um, I like to go big, you know. And I feel like Victoria is the perfect game to do that. And it's like one of the few games where it's actually intended to go uh, big, you know. Um, oh, jeez. Yeah, like sure, there are games like maybe like City Skylines where you can also build like huge cities in theory, but like in practice the game just isn't made for that. Because then you uh, will get performance issues, massive performance issues. And with Factorio, sure, like at some point you will get performance issues, but that's not because like Factorio is shit, it's because your computer is. Mostly. I mean, their game is pretty well optimized, you know. So, uh, yeah. There's sort of that. Um, yeah, we can also rip that all out. I uh, know I'm removing like a lot of underground belts and I'm probably going to put a lot of them back. But I want to start off like with a clean, cleanish bus. Uh, so then we can have the fun of ringing it all over again, basically. I mean, yeah, it's not so complicated to clean this up anyway, so... Okay, that's all looking a little weird here, but okay. Yeah, let's just pray that I will be able to do that a little bit better this time around. Um, yeah, batteries, batteries are pretty sweet. We should be almost done through here now when we're at batteries already. And there we go again. As I said, a bunch of bullcrap in my inventory now again. Yeah, we can keep that as is. Okay, um, now here's still a little bit of copper around. And then some steel. And plastic, ooh. But is that already the last belt? I can't believe it. But that actually kind of looks like it, so, um... Oh yeah, the bus, it's looking so nice and clean again. Oh yeah. Isn't that beautiful? I probably forgot like one little thing somewhere. Well, actually, it doesn't really look like it, so... Now that all of this uh, useless crap over here is now gone as well, we can... <laughs> nice. Robots picking up like their own home and then they're just leaving. And enough logistic network storage space available. What the hell? Yeah, no, you're kidding me, right? Yeah, you have an issue, sure. You don't know where it should go, so let's just solve that issue uh, real quick. Where are you? Here you are. Simple. Okay. You can go away as well. Uh, yeah, we will do all of that a little bit more beautiful. Okay, so... Cut 
and then uh, bring that all in again. In the end. Oh jeez, yeah, now the problem is that there isn't enough, like, uh, row port coverage here. Uh, let's just put a row port, like, right here. Okay, so... Now the coverage should be fine, yeah. Okay, you will... Connect in like that, basically. Let's just wait until all of that down here is gone. Still feels kind of weird, to be honest, to like spend multiple episodes building a thing and then just tearing it all down again, but sure. I am really interested in if this will actually work or not. I mean, yeah, we will have some issues with it for sure. But that's just like in the nature of it. I mean, I could have also built that just in like creative mode and like tested everything like perfectly, but I'm just not that kind of guy. Like just do something and see if it works. And if it doesn't, then just uh, fix, you know. Um, I've just seen a thing and it kind of weirds me out. What is this module supposed to be like between the solar panel and the Mark II robo port? What is this supposed to be? I also don't see it here, so uh, I don't know. Shielded singularity equipment. What the hell is you to power other equipment? Ooh. Three megawatts of power output. And takes four by four instead of four by four. Oh cool, that gives me more power potentially. That sounds interesting. Yeah, well my science currently isn't working, so we cannot research that at the moment, but we will be able to do that rather quickly, hopefully. Okay, let's put all of this stuff in now. We can do that as well. Don't need you, actually. We can just help everything out a little bit here now. Oh, yeah. Now that's how you empty out your inventory. <laughs> cool. Um, missing material. Yeah, that's because that's not like the, the raw port range or whatever. I know, I know. Let's just put a raw port in here, maybe one in here and in here. Yeah, there they all are. Okay, cool. So now looking at this from the map, this is... 1,000 signs a minute without space signs, but still smaller than I thought, actually, like really pretty compact. Um, yes, yeah, so now let's get this in first before we mess everything up and don't have that in our thing anymore. Yep, everything comes in from the top. That seems about right. Uh, let's just... Line it up right here, maybe. Okay, we can also put like another one in here, maybe. Okay. And then that's like all the inputs here, essentially. Okay, I mean, that's not really that extendable now, but we can just like build like two of those or three actually, we do have the space. 
Okay, uh, now we have to hook everything in. Uh, we also have to power you. Yeah, I mean, at this point, we could have really just gone a little longer with certain stuff. I mean, actually, not that much longer. Like, this is already cutting it pretty close. So now comes the interesting part, and that's figuring out what has to go where. Yep, that's going to be uh, fun. So, jeez, no, this is not going to be fun. I should have marked this. Um, anyways, let's just start with uh, some simple stuff. These things take three different things. And they get their stuff from two different belts, which makes this stuff already a little bit weird. Okay, um, maybe let's start with this right here. This is clearly uh, stone bricks. At least one thing that it can still get together, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, I knew that this is going to be a bit of an issue, but I thought I could figure it out, you know? But I probably can actually figure it all out. So you need, obviously, iron. Why you are then eating from the same belt? I don't know. Yeah, this actually is sort of weird. Why are you eating? Yeah, you need three different things, but you are getting... Oh yeah, you are outputting onto there, and then you are all uh, getting your stuff from there. Yeah, this is a separate belt, I just didn't see that. Okay, good, then this makes total sense. Then we have copper and steel on the upper belt, that is no, not going anywhere else. Copper and steel, we can start with, I don't know, steel up here, just because it's right here. Yeah, this position totally sucks for uh, copper, but, well, um, yeah. We all knew this isn't going to be perfect, okay? Uh, yeah, right, um... I don't know. Let's maybe do something uh, along these lines. That seems to work. Let's just get that all in like that. It looks a little bit nicer, maybe. So, yeah, iron then goes onto the lower belt here. So, that is also fairly straightforward. Yeah, we can get that all together still. No problem at all. Okay, so now we get iron in here. Yep, so now this thing turns on. And now we get our very first thingies right here. They also have their walls already. These are getting onto two different sides. I don't think this is actually good. Uh, grenades. Oh no, right. Grenades are getting onto the same belt here as the other stuffs. And then it's just like splitting off of it also down here. But that also all seems to get their stuff correctly. That's kind of good. Okay, so now we have all of these connected to something. And they also all work. What you are, I have absolutely no idea. Probably coal. I mean, this does need tons of coal. Uh, what? <laughs> oh boy. Um, so, there's probably something supposed to go into here and into here. Now, all of that is going down here and then going back up, um, yeah, no, I think this is like coal into here two times, and then, yeah, I think there was a problem with like the entire like coal thing, right, so iron goes into the top one, that's pretty simple and straightforward, um, yeah, right, simple and 
oops, simple and straightforward, exactly. As always, right, as as everything that I built, you know. Oh, jeez, I hate myself. Um, So now comes just a little bit of coal. That's also pretty basic. Uh, just, just a little bit on the interesting side because, like, two belts here now. But I'm open to a new challenge, you know. Especially if the challenge is on the completely other side of the goddamn bus. Um, yep, now that is a little bit fun again, so we can do... Uh, something like... Like this, actually. Nice, uh, that gives us a decent amount of coal here now, hopefully. Oh yeah, that should now be enough for our grenade game. So that doesn't look like it. Yeah, this up here isn't really the fastest. Maybe we should actually get like to in here where we can so it can also take iron and stuff like that in a little, little quicker okay i mean theoretically this should work i have calculated everything perfectly out obviously so this should not be any issue whatsoever okay and then we are actually getting out our first military science packs here as well that's essentially not the first science hooked in as well and i think that is a good success for the day Especially so because it's all working, right? That's the that's the crazy part. Who knows if it's the actual speed that I want or anything like that, but it's we're getting some output, that's the important thing. And on that note, thank you guys for watching. See you on the next episode where we will hopefully finish this. Probably not, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next episode. I'll then have a great time. See you all then. Bye bye.